What's up my YT homies? This is Alifia and I'm coming in at you with another video. Let me first start by saying I hope you all had a wonderful holiday week uh, for Thanksgiving. Had a wonderful holiday as well as a holiday week. And of course I say holiday week because I had the entire week off because we get the entire week off. And when I tell you I got so much rest and repose, it is ridiculous. I got rest. I, I planned on grading and I did do some grading, but I did not do grading throughout the week. I ended up only taking one day, which means I still have some catching ups to do, but I worked non-stop on that one day that I did work. So, and today I'm going to do a little catching up as well as throughout the week until I get caught up um, because, you know, it's, it's the life of a teacher. But anyway, let me tell y'all. So first off, yesterday, and because of the fact that I did update some grades, <clears throat> I had this one particular student, Zania. She came yesterday, and, and she, I mean, she's a smart young lady, and one of her grades that I updated was not like her grades typically are. So she came to me right before she walked in, into class, and she said, Miss Latimer, me and you have to have a talk. And I'm like, okay, we'll talk, we'll talk. So the first thing that comes to my mind is she saw her grade and she wasn't pleased about it. And so then as we're in class and I'm talking and, and discussing and I mentioned, I said, well, I did have a student, you know, that did come to me and said that they wanted to talk. I said, so it's probably about the grade and yeah, yeah. She's like, uh -uh, I want to talk to you about the video. So then I'm like, what video? No, she's like, I want to talk to you about your YouTube video. So then I'm thinking, what about my YouTube video? And then it dawned on me. I didn't record last week. <laughs> did not put up a video last week uh, so I, I guess that's what she wanted to talk to me about so here I am with a video this week so this video is actually um, my Sephora VIB haul video and so first off wait a minute wait a minute before I get into the Sephora VIB haul let me tell you all this milestone I have made and y'all gotta excuse my sweater it's like a little bit too big but anyway so it is, um, so Victoria's Secret, I got, um, an email, not an email, I'm all over the place. I got some coupons for Victoria's Secret in the mail. One of the coupons was for $10 off of any purchase, so there was no minimum. One of them was for a free pair of panties. One of them was for, get a, some kind of bra for $35, and I'm like, well, whoa, what is the regular price if you can get it for $35? And then the other coupon, I forgot what it was for. So anyway, I'm like, why would they send me a panty coupon? Who gave Victoria my name? Because there's nothing I can wear from Victoria but lotion and perfume. Anyway, the coupon expired Sunday on the 26th. So I held on to that particular coupon for about two weeks. And I finally went on the 26th. And guess what? I did use both of those coupons the ten dollar off as well as the free panty coupon to get me some panties from Victoria's Secrets now I'm telling you all about this and in previous videos there have been videos before where I have hauled you know things like you know sentimentals intimates or whatever because you know I'm like we're all adults it's okay however I do have some immature students that kind of watch my video that if I show them I can hear them coming in class saying something about them and being inappropriate so to keep them from being inappropriate and all that kind of stuff I won't show them to you but just know your girl can buy from Victoria's Secret now now let's get into the haul so my Sephora VIB haul when I tell you all because I'm a shopper with Ebates I shop online at different companies but I try to make sure I shop with companies that use Ebates and if you don't know Ebates is a, a website that gives you cash back on your purchases that you would make every day anyway and so you know you get the cash back and then it's like getting a rebate on what you've purchased and then you can take that cash and you can do whatever you want to do with it um, and if you don't know if you're not signed up I have a link in the description box for you to sign up for Ebates so please use that link and sign up and I'd appreciate it but anyway so I was waiting because their cash back was 2.5% during the VIB sale and normally their cash back is either 4% or 8%. And I was waiting, 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 hoping that it would get to the 8% or the 4%, but it never did. So anyway, nonetheless, I went ahead and ordered. And this year the VIB, um, and it's usually every year, the VIB, I'm not VIB Rouge. I don't spend like a thousand, I think VIB Rouge, you have to spend a thousand dollars on makeup per year. Contrary to the fact that I do spend money on makeup, I don't spend a thousand dollars per year. So I am the VIB, um, sorry about that. So I am not the insider, but the other VIB, whatever it is. So anyway, 
Ah, uh, let me get back to focused. All right, so anyway, let me show you all what I got. So depending on how long you've been watching my videos, or not how long you've been watching my videos, but depending on which videos you've watched, you've heard me say something about going into Sephora when every time I make a purchase and I ask for the Good Girl by Carolina, Carolina I think it's Carolina, yeah, Caroline Herrera. Um, Herrera, is that right? Anyway. But going in to get this um, perfume, I always ask for this. They give you samples, and I always ask for this as a sample because this perfume smells uber. What's I gonna say? Delicious. Smells awesome. Anyway, so this is what the container looks like. So some people that know me probably would think that I wanted it simply because of the cutesy little high heel shoe, which the high heel shoe was what first led me to the perfume. But not once I smelled it, it was like. Oh my gosh, I gotta have it. So anyway, and I'm gonna put some on this morning. <laughs> so now that I've sprayed myself with my good smelling perfume, let me show you the rest of what I got. So um, the next thing I had was this Magnificent Metals Glitter from Stila. And you all um, know I have a couple of these. Well, I decided to get another one and this one is called Next to Naught. You can't probably can't see that, but I'll of course take it out of here so that you can. And it's one of these glitters, and you know I've used the glitter before, but I have hated using glitters because I don't like using the glitter glue and then the loose glitter. However, having these Stila Magnificent glitters has really, really been so much easier when it comes to using glitters. So I can't wait to use this color. The next thing I got, and I know I have a Fenty Beauty foundation already, but I wanted to go ahead and take advantage of the sale and get me a Fenty Beauty foundation. And this one is in the color 340. Even though I was matched for 350 and that is what I have on now, sometimes it, I don't know, it oxidizes, but it doesn't oxidize like over the top but sometimes I feel that it warms my skin up just a little bit more than I want um, it's almost like I don't know so and it, while the 340 does have a peachy undertone and I have a neutral undertone I, I'd rather have I guess maybe that peachy glow than something that warms me up so much to make me look like I'm just totally tanned I don't know if you get what I'm saying but I don't mind looking a little tanned but also I don't want to look like I'm just I've come out of tanning bed and it's winter time. I just don't want to warm myself up too much, if you get what I mean. Another thing I got, and y'all know this is my ride or die, and before I took a chance at running out of it again, I did get a Laura Mercier setting powder. I got another one of these. And this one, of course, I'm going to leave in the box because I have one. So there's no need in me taking this out and using this because I'm currently using one at the time. At this moment, rather. And the last thing I got is this Fenty Beauty Foundation brush. And I've been putting my uh, Fenty Beauty Foundation on with one of my other brushes. And then, of course, just like with any other foundation, I'll take my Beauty Blender and kind of just go over my face to make sure that I get rid of any streaks or anything like that that the brush may cause. So, but this brush is specifically for the Fenty Beauty Foundation. So I'm hoping that it gives me like, I guess you could say a flawless, uh, it won't come off flawless finish so to speak um, hoping that it does a little bit better than the other brush because the other brushes that I use kind of can use a, leave a little bit of a streaky residue I guess not residue but streaks and then I have to the beauty blender helps it out so anyway that is it for this video um, yeah so that's it that's all I got with my Sephora VIB sale I do hope you have enjoyed this video and if you like my content please do go ahead like comment subscribe and share this video across all your social media sites and yeah that's it all the have the 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 the, the. so yeah until the next time and in between time you ladies and gentlemen be safe and I will do what catch you on the flip side bye